Hello, baseball fans and Stratomatic fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I am here with another Today game using Stratomatic's Baseball Max. And today, we are going to do the Cincinnati Reds at the St. Louis Cardinals. As you can see, the starting pitchers for today's game in real life, supposedly, will be Spires. And for the uh, for Cincinnati and for St. Louis, it will be Sonny Gray. So let's get on with the game. I am going to be St. Louis. I will control St. Louis, who actually in real life in the 2024 season has come on like wildfire lately. They were they got off to a kind of a bad start and looked like they might not make the playoffs, but lately they have been playing some good baseball. So with that in mind. Let's get on with this, and we will see again. This is uh, this is today's game. This is the game of June 29th, twenty twenty four. So we will see. This is kind of like a preview of the game. If you're seeing this before the game, or you can compare it to the actual game after it was played. Now you can see here we've got the lineups and the pitchers, and uh, this is supposedly what the St. Louis lineup will be or is projected to be so I will keep I will go with that I will not change Sonny Gray nor would I want to change Sonny Gray because he has a 281 earned run average and a 0 0.95 whip so we are going to get on with the game and we will get to start now uh, let's go over the lineups. Uh, the computer Cincinnati team will start with Jonathan India leading off and then Ellie De La Cruz batting second. Then uh, Steer will bat third. Martini will bat in the cleanup spot. Marte bats fifth. Um, uh, Espinal will bat in the sixth spot. Will Benson, thank you Benson, will bat seventh. Fairchild will bat eighth. And Luke Maley will catch today and bat ninth with, as I said, Spires on the mound. Now let's see if we can look at Spires' card. No, I guess it won't let me do that right now. So uh, let's get to the St. Louis lineup. You're going to have Brendan Donovan leading off and, play, and playing uh, left field. Then Will Contreras will be the catcher. I, I'm surprised he's back as quickly as he was from the whatever fractured thumb or whatever it was that he had. Uh, Burleson will bat in the third spot and play right field. Paul Goldschmidt, batting 227, a very depressing 227 for him, will bat in the cleanup spot and play first base. Uh, Nolan Gorman will bat fifth and play second. Uh, I, I, maybe that's his name, maybe not. Nolan Arenado, I know that is his name, will bat sixth and play third. Uh, Matt Carpenter batting seventh and playing DH. Uh, Brandon Crawford is going to be the shortstop today. And Siani will bat in the ninth spot and play center field with, as I said, gray pitching. So let's get on with this. The umpire says, play ball. So, and again, I will give you the caveat that I have in the past had a problem with this game, although I did see that they updated the app. But I did have a problem with the uh, play today game. And there's a strikeout right there. So there's one down where uh, the game would freeze up and didn't complete the game. So we'll see if that happens. Hopefully it doesn't happen here. And there's a strikeout by Sonny Gray. Two down quickly. And that brings up Spencer Steer. I love that name. That's a great name. So let's see what happens here. He only has two chances to get on. He doesn't hit one of those. He flies out. So St. Louis is coming to bat in the first having allowed no runs in the top of the first. And we have Brendan Donovan. And that's what the Brendan Donovan versus right-handed pitcher card would look like if the season ended today. Or something along those lines. Not exactly, probably. And Wilson Contreras, back from his fractured thumb or hand or whatever it was that he had, he strikes out. So he is down. And that... We'll, of course, bring up Alec Burleson. 
And let's see what Alec Burleson's going to get. Nothing. He's going to get a whole lot of nothing in that five column from Carson Spears. So Cincinnati comes back up to the plate after we uh, both teams put up the goose egg in the first inning. And uh, we have a fly out to right field here. So there's one down quickly, which brings up Novelli Marte. Novelli Marte. I know nothing about this guy. I'll be honest with you. And he grounds out to second base, which brings up Santiago Espinal, who you might remember used to play for the Toronto Blue Jays at one point. And uh, he's only got a single one to two chance here. Let's see if they roll it on the roll of bones. No, they don't. So he's out. Sonny Gray has two perfect innings under his belt with St. Louis coming to the plate. And Gold Schmitty is the batter with that depressing 220 something batting card. And it doesn't look like it's going to get any better for him there. He strikes out. Which brings to the plate Nolan Gorman. And so I am right. Two guys named Nolan in the St. Louis lineup. And that's going to be a fly out to right. And that should bring up Nolan Arenado, the Nolan brothers. <laughs> and uh, he is going to get a whole lot of nothing. And there is a ground ball to the shortstop, X. And he was out. So Cincinnati is going to come up. We've got a 0-0 game after two with Will Benson batting. And Will Benson's going to strike out Sonny Gray on top of his game. But, uh, you know, then again, so is Spires. And that'll be a fly to center. And it's a single. It drops. Stuart Fairchild gets a single. And that brings up Luke Maley. Luke, and I'm not hitting very well and never did, Maley. And he is going to ground out to third X. And that is going to be a double play as that was hit at Nolan Arenado, and you know he's going to turn that DP, the sweet DP, which brings to the plate the St. Louis Cardinals in a 0-0 game. Cincinnati has one hit, no errors, and no runs, and St. Louis comes into this inning with no runs, no hits, and no errors. And um, Matt Carpenter is the batter, the 68-year-old Matt Carpenter, who never seems to go away. And he's going to rip a double down the right field line, which brings up Brandon Crawford, who, again, is about as old as Matt Carpenter is. So let's see what he can get. And that's going to be another, well, it's going to be a single-double asterisk at least. And it is going to be a single-double asterisk and knock in a run. So, or at least it should. Let's see. So, um, wait, man on second can try to score. He should have already scored. That should be a single double asterisk. All right. Uh, let me see. 50% chance. No, I'm just going to hold the runners. So we, we're instead of a man scoring, we have runners at the corners, I believe. Yes. Or we should. Yes. And Michael, see, see that's what I'm saying. The game, it takes... There is one thing about this game. It takes a long time, especially when some kind of complicated thing like that happens. It takes an excessively long time for the result to be logged in and done. And I think maybe in the games that froze up was because I was trying to hit swing away or, you know, the next thing or the next batter a lot, you know, too quickly. So I do try to... Um, pace myself and make sure that I have that swing away option um, highlighted and ready to go. So that's going to be a single. The shortstop cannot make the play. And so St. Louis does take a one nothing lead on Cincinnati here. And uh, Wilson Contreras is the batter. He has a good card. Now, it, I mean, they really lost a lot when he was out of the lineup. And uh, that's going to be a pop out to third. So that's two down with Alec Burleson up and a man, a runners at the corners. So it, and he's not going to get anything there unless the left fielder uh, drops a fly ball and he didn't. So Cincinnati's back up. St. Louis has a one run lead, one to nothing with three hits to Cincinnati's one. And uh, Jonathan India back to the top of the lineup for Cincinnati against Sonny Gray. 
And that's going to be a ground out. So India's out. And we that brings up Ellie De La Cruz, who has a good card here, this good right-handed card. And uh, he's going to have a ground out to second. No, he won't, because it gets by the second baseman for a base hit. So Cincinnati has a man aboard with Spencer Steer up. And let's see what happens here with Steer. And he's going to pop out to second. So there's two down with a man at first for Cincinnati. And... Nick Martini is up. Nick Martini's shaken, not stirred. And he's going to strike out. So, St. Louis coming to the plate with Paul Goldschmidt. Those doubles, man. He's got two automatic doubles in the four column. And Goldschmidt hits it. Um, try to... Uh, no, we're not even going to even entertain the idea that Goldschmidt could turn a double into a triple. But he is going to stop at second with nobody out and Nolan Gorman up. And you like those two home runs right there. But he's in the wrong column to even get on and he strikes out. Which brings up Nolan Arenado. Again, a pretty good card, good player, uh, gold glove defensive third baseman, and he flies out to center field. There is two down very quickly here with Matt Carpenter, the batter. And he is going to fly to center, so St. Louis can't capitalize on a leadoff double by Goldschmidt. And we go to the top of the fifth inning. We're moving right along here in a game where both pitchers are pitching quite well. That'll be a fly to left, and it is an out. Which brings up Santiago Espinal. And he is going to have a single one to eight possibility on a ballpark single. And he does get it. So Espinal gets the ballpark single, and he is aboard with one down. And uh, that brings up Will Benson. Thank you, Benson. Anybody remember that show, Benson? It was a great show. But he's going to walk. So now uh, Cincinnati has two runners on with only one out. And Stuart Fairchild is the batter. I'm going to keep Sonny Gray out there right now, though, because I'm a guy, I'm an old school guy, I think, uh, Pitchers. There's a nice double play turned by Crawford. <laughs> Unbelievable. Although Crawford is a pretty good shortstop, but, you know, he's aging right now, so you wouldn't expect he'd be quite as good. Anyway, we have Brandon Crawford at the plate with uh, St. Louis still ahead, one nothing, And that is going to be a fly out to left. So Crawford's out, which gives way to Michael Ciani. We'll see what he can do. He is going to strike out. So he's out, and there's two down quickly for St. Louis with Brendan Donovan up. And again, you know I'm a White Sox fan. I did not do the White Sox-Rockies game, although I did consider doing that one because the Rockies are a terrible team just like the White Sox are. They're only a few games better than the White Sox. But I opted to go with this NL Central matchup because I know that I have a couple of Cardinals, at least a couple of Cardinals fans out there who might be interested to get a preview of today's game. So Luke Maley is the batter in the top of the sixth. We're going to keep Sonny Gray out there. Sonny Gray is only on pitch 66 of 95, so he should be good to go for a while. And that is an a pop out to the catcher, Wilson Contreras. So there is one down, and Jonathan India back again to the top of the Cincinnati lineup. And that'll be a ground out to short. Brandon Crawford making the play again. That Brandon Crawford, he's a good one. And uh, so let's see, we're going to pitch to Ellie De La Cruz. And that will be a strikeout. Sonny Gray not at his inning of weakness yet. So that is a true strikeout. And Wilson Contreras leading off for St. Louis here in the bottom of the sixth. So it's getting late for Cincinnati, although it's only a one-run deficit. So possible single here. Let's see if he can hit it. He can. 
So Contreras is aboard with a single, which brings up Alec Burleson, and uh, we're just going to let him hit because he's got a good card. Oh, new pitcher coming in. They're taking out uh, Spires, and they bring in Nick Martinez. And again, Burleson with a pretty good card if he can hit to two column, but he can, oh, he got a home run one to six possibility here. But he doesn't. He flies out. So the ballpark home run didn't come through for him, which brings up Paul Goldschmidt, who doubled his last time up, if you will recall. I did, so, you know. But that's going to be a strikeout this time. Goldschmidt not having a good season. And that brings up Nolan Gorman. And Nolan Gorman is going to get a double possibility. Let's see what the roll comes up. It's out. Yeah, I mean, it didn't really, wasn't much of a chance. Um, so Cincinnati is back at the plate, but there's only three innings left for Cincinnati to try to get that run. And with uh, Sonny Gray pitching like he is, I don't like their chances. It's a 70, he's, it's only 78 of 95, and he strikes the man out. So Steer is down, and that brings up Martini. Martini, apparently a good on-base guy, got a few walks, but he doubles. So they got a man up at second with only one out. Sonny Gray still not quite at his uh, pitch count weakness, and Novelli Marte is the batter. And really, you know, you have to think that um, that's going to be a fallout to Wilson Contreras. You have to think that Sonny Gray, even with the, you know, like these two, um, you know, strikeouts here becoming single double asterisk. He's still probably better than a lot of the guys that St. Louis has in their bullpen. Not that I'm an authority on that, but that's going to be the tying. That should be the tying run, even if it's see that's a single should be a single double asterisk, but is it? Because let's see what happens. Runner being waved home. See, um, we're gonna. We're going to throw for the lead runner. I know it's a 70% chance that he scores. Um, but maybe we get him. But we don't. So he is safe, and they do tie the game up. So, uh, Sonny Gray, and see, now Sonny Gray is just below that number. But, you know, again, I like his chances even if you make his some of his outs into single double asterisk. That's going to be a single one to eight chance. Let's see if they hit it. They don't. It's a line out. So the ballpark single doesn't come through. And uh, St. Louis is at bat. So St. Louis coming up here in a tie game. 1-1, one, one, five hits for each team and no errors for each team. Doing exactly the same thing, both teams. Nolan Arenado will be up against Nick Martinez. That is a 5-10, ground ball shortstop. It's going to be a single. It gets through. Nice. All right, so what are we going to do with Matt Carpenter? Man, that dude gets on all over that card. We're going to let him try to hit. And single 1-2. to two. Not a very good chance. But he does come through with it. Nice. They've got the first two runners on. All right, with no outs. And Brandon Crawford up. I'm going to guess that Brandon Crawford ain't much of a sacrifice guy. And he has a pretty decent on base. Uh-oh, they brought in Sam Mole. So now he isn't that good. Huh. Uh, man, do I do that, though? Um, all right, I'm going to sacrifice bunt. Chance for a good bunt. I'll still say yes. I, I mean, I suspect that he's not very good, but as you, you can see, based on what this card looks like, he doesn't have much of it. Uh, I am going to, all right, we'll, I'm going to stay with the bunt. I'm going to say stay with the bunt, because the worst case scenario is he strikes out on a third. The ball is bunted. Ball is bunted, foul strikeout. See, that was the worst case scenario, but it looked like that was going to happen to him anyway, based on that card matchup. Which brings up Michael Ciani. So there is one down now with runners at first and second base. 
he's in a nice column or the best column from him, for him, but he flies out to right. And so two down and Brendan Donovan is the batter. Now, if he could hit that one column, that would be nice, but he can't. <laughs> he's got a ground ball to the pitcher. All right, so no runs there. It's still tied, and I have Sonny Gray. Sonny, as you can see up here, he's turning yellow, 96 of 95. I don't know if that means that the um, at the um, asterisk would already be singles, but uh, that is a single, and so they have the first man aboard. Luke Maley is up. He's not a good hitter, so let's let gray at least face him he's at 101 of 95 effective pitches and he strikes out Maley. so i s <clears throat> all right so you can see he's now at 106 of 95 and it's red so he may be in a little bit of trouble here but we're going to let him face jonathan india hit and run is the, is they're trying to hit and run batter pops out and runner returns to his base and that brings Ellie De La Cruz up. Man at first, two down, and is that a single? No, it's a strikeout. They still gave him the strikeout, so he must not be that tired yet. So St. Louis is up here in the bottom of the eighth. If they can get a run, if they can get a run, we can go to the top of the ninth and I can bring in whoever I think the closer might be for this team. And that's a walk by Contreras, so he's aboard. First guy is on, and Alec Burleson is up. We're just going to let these guys keep hitting, but this dude, man, Sam Mole, is, he is not playing around. And that's a ground ball double play. So there's two down, and Gold Schmidt is up. And he is going to ground out. I mean, until they get Mole out of there, you know, Cincinnati or St. Louis is going to have some problems. All right, I will try to do a substitution here. We will take Sonny Gray out. He has pitched well for us. So let's see here. Um, I'm going to go with Fernandez. We're going to bring in. The main man, Fernandez. Now let's see what his card looks like. This is Ryan Fernandez. Okay, against Ryan. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's not bad. He'll walk a few people, but, you know. So let's go with him. Ryan Fernandez is out on the mound now. And uh, he has 17 available pitches, which is not good, but... That was, what was that? What happened there? All right, well, nobody's on. Oh, they're going to, I think, I guess they pinch hit Jake Fraley. And that's going to be a fly. That, no, it's going to be, a, it's going to be a double. A double to center field. They misplayed the ball, it must be. So they've got a man at second with nobody out and Nick Martini up. And that's going to be a single one to 14, so Martinez just threw a little gasoline on the fire here. And he did. So that'll put runners at the corners with nobody out. And, uh, I mean, I, you, you really got to bring the infield in, right? So, let's see here. Position defense. Bring infield in. And pitch. And you got to hope for a strikeout. They got a pinch hitter. Heimer Candelario is going to be the pinch hitter. And that's going to be a ballpark single possibility. And it's an out. So it's a line out. So the runners should hold at their bases. And uh, we still want the infield in because there is only one out. Um, let me see. Let me make sure that it's still in. Bring infield in. Infield in. Okay. Okay. So that is. We're ready to go with this. Ryan Fernandez pitching and a strikeout. So Fernandez gets a key strikeout and doesn't allow anybody to score. And now we will go 
position the defense to set the infield. Infield is back. Outfield is normal. Okay, so, all right. So, I guess the computer automatically figured I would want that, which I would. Double 1-13 to 13 chance, though. This could score the run, the go-ahead run, and it does. Ryan Fernandez lets down the St. Louis faithful. And the run does score. And uh, I got to throw for the, you got to throw for the lead runner, even though it's not a great chance of getting him out. Runner is being, trail runner is being held, but they are trying to send him. And that is going to be a safe chance. And so now the St. Louis takes, or Cincinnati takes a two run lead. And they are ahead 3 1. And, uh, Stuart, and this is why I didn't want to take Sonny Gray out, but I could see that he was tiring and really had to. That is a ground out, and so St. Louis is at bat, but we, I mean, St. Louis needs two runs here, man. And uh, thank God they took Mole out. I mean, at least Alex Diaz walks people. He doesn't there, though. It's a fly ball to center for Nolan Gorman. And brings up Nolan Arenado. And that is going to be a, an on-base chance. Hopefully it's a double, but really it doesn't matter. We need two runs, not one. He does get a single, though. So Nolan Arenado is aboard with Matt Carpenter up. Again, Matt Carpenter gets on all over this card, and Diaz can walk. He's been known to walk a few people. That will be a single one to six. But it doesn't fall, so it's a line out. And that brings Brandon Crawford up. And again, he can kind of get on base with this card. So, And that is going to be a single double asterisk chance, or a double, or a double. But it's going to be a single double asterisk possibility. And it does, it is, it is. So they got the run. No, it isn't. It isn't. And he stopped, and they didn't even give me an option. This game, I don't know. I mean, in the in the regular board game, that would be a single double asterisk. But um, anyway, runners are at the corners with two down and Michael Ciani up. I might consider pinch hitting here. Um, let's see. Diaz is what? He is, well, anyway, uh, let's see if we've got a pinch hitter. Ah, uh, man, St. Louis just did not have a lot of uh, good options here. I guess we'll go with win. And so Wynn will be the pinch hitter. Mason Wynn. Let's see if he can knock in at least one of these runs. Probably not, and he doesn't. And that's going to be a strikeout, and that's going to end the game. And so we'll get the box score. Cincinnati wins this one 3-1. to one. And uh, this is what the box score would potentially look like. Um, so yeah, you got, uh, you take a good look at the, uh, batting stats. Good game, but, uh, Cincinnati prevailed. Gray went 80, allowed six hits and one earned run, striking out eight. Fernandez went one and allowed two runs. He just came in and threw gasoline all over the place. Um, Mole was great for two innings. That guy had a great looking card. So anyway, that is going to be the game. That is the Cincinnati and St. Louis game, and you should check it out today and see how close it actually is. But that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.